Hi friends, this lesson is for module six, lesson three. The other day when I went to the zoo, I found out the coolest piece of information. Did you know that different animal groups have different names? Like, so for example, a group of lions is called the pride and a group of monkeys is called the troop. So that's actually gonna help us out today when we're talking about our learning goal because we're gonna be using animals to help us out. So, I went to the zoo, and I was at the petting zoo part, and I walked up to a group of piggies. And then I turned the corner, and there were more piggies, and then more piggies, more piggies still kept coming, and they just kept coming out of everywhere. I was like, goodness gracious, there's so many piggies here. And I asked the zookeeper, what do you call a group of piggies? And she said, a drift. I said, wow, can you help me count this drift? She said, sure. And do you know what? That zookeeper and I are best friends because she helped me with our learning goal. I can describe numbers in tens and ones. Two, one hundred. Whew, that's a big number. Okay, this is why we're BFF. Because I was like, I need to get organized when I'm counting up big groups like that drift of pigs. And she said, oh, have you heard of a place value mat? <gasps> friends, you know that I love place value mats. I love any math tool that's going to keep me organized. This is perfect. So here we go. I took my place value mat and I brought it back to my piggies. And if you'll see, there are two parts, tens and ones. We already know how to use this, but it's a nice refresher. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many groups of tens are there are in my drift of pigs. So I have one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it in to say four tens. Now I want to count how many ones of piggies I have. One, two. So I'm going to say two ones. If I wanted to write that out the say ten way, I could say four tens and two ones. Now four tens is actually what number, friends? Yeah, forty. I could also write a number sentence that explains what I'm adding together. So I could say forty plus two, because that's still the same number. And if I just want to say the number the regular way, I could just say 42. Oh, I'm so glad I had that place value mat to help keep me organized. And then it helped me to remember all the different ways I've already learned how to describe numbers. Let's go look at some other animals. The next group of animals I saw are obviously my favorite, the river otter. I love, 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 love them. Now, a group of otters is called a romp. Isn't that cool? All right. So I want to know how many otters are in this romp. I'm going to get out my trusty place value mat to help me out. Friends, what's the first thing I should count? Yeah, you're totally right, the tens. I'm just going to call, count groups of tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I see there are eight tens, and what do I have to count next? Yeah, the ones. How many ones do you see? Ding, 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 you're right. Three ones. So now I'm going to say that the say 10 way. I'll say eight tens and three ones. Can you think of a number sentence where I would add those two numbers together? What would that look like? Well, eight tens is actually 80, so I could say 80 plus three. And then how do I say eight tens and three ones the regular way? Yeah, you're right, 83. Okay, friends, I want you to go ahead and pause it and grab your dry erase board or your math journal because you're going to practice a couple of these with me. Press play when you're ready. Okay, you all set? Here we go. Let's go to our next group of animals. Oh, good thing we're talking about these because they're all around us here in Florida. They're the manatee. I love manatees because they're so precious. Okay, a group of manatees is actually called a herd. Now, on your dry erase board, I want you to go ahead and draw a place value map. Can you press pause while you fill that in and then press play to check yourself? Okay, you filled in your place value mat? Good. How many groups of tens did you put in there? Oh, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had six tens as well. And how many ones? Oh, good. I hope you counted carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, they don't stand in five groups like I like them because they're just floating around in the water. So I have to be really careful when I'm counting them. All right, so I have six tens and seven ones. Can you go ahead and write that the say 10 way on your board and then press play to check yourself? Okay, did you write it the say 10 way? Did you write six tens and seven ones? 
Haha, <laughs> good job. What about, can you write a number sentence where you're adding the tens and the ones together? Good. Did you write 60 plus 7? Ah, oh, perfect. And what about the regular way? How could I say 6 tens and 7 ones the regular way? Can you write that down? Ready? Did you say 67? Friend, you're doing such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Let's keep cruising. What about this group of animals? Ooh, dragonflies. Now, a group of dragonflies is actually called a cluster. Let's see if we can figure out how many dragonflies are in this cluster. I'm going to go ahead and press pause, and I want you to fill in this place value mat, and then write down three different ways you can describe this number. Press play when you're ready to check yourself. Okay, did you fill in your place value mat and write down three different ways you can write this number? Okay, good. Let's see how you did. Now, I see that there are five groups of tens and two ones. If I was going to say that the, the say 10 way, I would say 5 tens and 2 ones. If I was going to run a number sentence, I would say 50 plus 2. And then finally, the regular way would be 52. Did you rock it, friend? Ugh, I knew you would. Remember, be careful, go slowly, and count all the different parts. I like to start with the tens and then count the ones. All right, I'm so glad we learned about all those different animal groups because they really helped us out with this learning goal. I can describe numbers in tens and ones to 100. Remember, we're getting ready for second grade, so things are going to start getting bigger. Words are going to be getting get are going to start getting bigger, and so are numbers. All right, it's your turn, friend. This is the one you're going to send to your teacher. Now, I don't really know what a group of caterpillars are called. Sorry. So I just want to show you this. Here are the caterpillars. The one on the leaves are groups of tens, of course. And then the other ones are the ones. I want you to go ahead and fill in this place value mat and then finish this number sentence. Blank, or the regular way, is equal to blank tens and blank ones. So you're going to look at the picture, fill in your place value mat, and then fill in that good number sentence at the bottom. Go ahead and send it to your teacher when you're done. Good luck, friends.